Hey everyone, thanks so much for subscribing. Guys, welcome. What are we looking at? We'll jump right to it. I hope to interact with all of you very soon. We're looking at a CME, a real CME, and my bloody wire. <laughs> Sorry, my electrical wire. I didn't choose this. Keep looking. It gets interesting. More interesting than I thought. I enhanced this footage. Now, what are we looking at? I mean, it looks like a Star Trek ship came out, which it probably isn't, but I wouldn't pass it by. But look what's trailing behind it. A massive, massive uh, coronal ejection. This was within days of, of the CME that was announced, if not the same day. I'm not lying. I just, I caught this on the sun. And then I heard the CME. Look what we just saw. A round spherical object breaks through the photosphere, breaks through the corona. Right now, look, it's pulling on it. It broke through the corona. And look at the massive object. And look at the bottom left, what will come up also. Now look at the pieces. Look at what looks like pieces coming up from the sun. And now I'm going to take a chance, uh, a crazy chance. This is just theory speculation but could any of the objects that we are seeing in earth's atmosphere which are considered as a asteroids or planetoids have look at it come here out could it be coming from the sun i'm just wondering if the sun could spit out um a solid you know spherical rock and send it towards earth no if not, it's a massive plume of plasma. It looks like a, a line, a nose that goes up and it curves downwards. Just awesome seeing it this close. This is really close. I can't get over having caught a CME. I've been filming guys every day since, okay? And I've never seen anything for at least two and a half, if not three weeks. Nothing, at, well, that actually, wow. The 12th of October was the last I posted the asteroid. Yes, actually, wow, yeah. TC4 2012, it was its flyby date. So I didn't see it close to Earth, but I did see an object going towards the sun. And what happens to an asteroid when it comes into the solar system? It will go to the sun. I guess slingshot around that, and then head in whatever direction it's heading, probably Earth. And of course, without ruling anything out, look, could this be an asteroid? You see the spherical object, it's right there in the center. Boom, it just pierced right now through the corona. Now you see the corona's wall literally lingering with it as this object spirals out. It does look like an asteroid too. Wouldn't put that by either during a CME. So the massive CME that happened could be some kind of an asteroid or something that went through the sun and they didn't mention it. So then a week and a half after that, I spot objects around the moon. And this in particular is one of them. And that week, I'm not lying, you can look it up. Um, it's just a couple of weeks ago. You'll all be able to find it. They found an asteroid with what looks like a structure on the end of it, a light source and a squiggly tail on it. I mean, okay, it doesn't mean it's that, but could the sun... I mean, I have no idea. I'm just speculating. I am uh, sound as dumb as the next one, okay? Could the sun be spitting out um, objects that that plasma is dense, guys? So it must be solidifying a little, maybe making a small object, solid object, as it's spiraling through space. Well, for those who disagree, I have to show this one last time. It's enhanced, by the way. I never, I never show the same footage never did look at the flaring proof it's that simple you know to show someone that you're uh, trying to prove something there you go watch the plane that you guys call it <laughs> the plane whether it be a plane guys look do like me for five minutes and then after that tell me the f off put a veil over your eyes whether it be an orange a pumpkin flying by don't look at that look at the sun right now 
it's on fire. And that little spot that you're seeing on the sun is actually thousands, sorry I'm wrong, hundreds of thousands of feet in the air into space. Earth. Okay, the flare that I just showed you is the size of Earth. I'm not kidding you guys. And here's one last shot of it before... Um, these are different shots. Uh, I mean... <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, it must have been um, uh, just a plane, like you guys, some of you say, <laughs> passing in front of the sun. Okay. Um, uh, this is... Wow. <sighs> okay. I don't know. Um, my partial eclipse seen from here in Montreal, Canada... 2017, the beautiful partial eclipse that I filmed. It's on my website, brucezal.com, and it's also on YouTube right here, Bruce is all. Um, What are we seeing? Well, we're seeing a beautiful object that, again, skimmed or touched or came through the sun, or it was close to the sun. It was during the partial eclipse. It was not seen with the naked eye, of course, because, you know, flares are um, expanding different frequencies. Uh, you'd need a filter to see it, and probably so would anything else traveling through space. Obviously, I'm getting this through filtering. Yes, I'm really happy to show them this way. I'm really happy to get in close so that we can see what the heck's going on in a bit better of an image. You know, I mean, we're all in this together, right? We just want to find out what's up there. What I'm theorizing on, speculating, and uh, hypothesizing on, it does not matter, guys. You have the right to your opinion, but please leave me the right to mine. It's just an extra added a little bit of um, my point of view, but you have the right to your thoughts. And you know what? I could be wrong. There it is. And let me say that it went between the moon and the sun, all right? Rewind it, no matter how much you want to say it didn't, rewind it and you'll understand and you'll see the light's uh, path where it went through. This is more proof that there are objects out there that we're not seeing. And let me tell you, it's very odd. This thing, by the way, is going from bottom to the, to the top of the sun. But in reality, it was going right over our, my head. So that's an asteroid going over my head to the the sun literally if not it's a craft or some what the space station it's going at 57,000 is that it miles an hour something like that I highly doubt that uh, it was the space station very special thank you to my brother Steve Olson WSO YouTube channel happy to interact with you brother Tuesday's interviews on WSO YouTube channel and whenever we can and whenever Steve has time we're going to share our findings together check them out please <laughs>